Hey folks, Wacky Weatherman. It is the 7th of February, 23. We're going to check out the weather today. So let us see what's in store and keep an eye out on this rain. Okay, so right now I'm looking outside and it looks like it's a little cloudy out. So, so it looks a little cloudy. So I'm going to, let's just see what this, uh, what this looks like here today. You can see we got a... Tuesday morning to you, Chief Meteorologist Trent Okerson. Look at your forecast. A little bit of uh, light rain this morning over parts of Illinois and Missouri. Overall okay. cloudy for the rest of us. We'll continue with a chance for rain here, Illinois, Missouri, into the afternoon. And uh, mild today, <coughs> 50s and 60s north to south. Yeah, a little nice. better chance for spotty showers by late tonight, 10 o'clock here on the hour by hour forecast. And then by tomorrow morning, you notice uh, widespread rain. We'll have moved in at that point, uh, so plan for a rainy start to your Wednesday. That rain's going to be with us for most of the day tomorrow. Uh, it'll be a little cooler in the morning, too, with temperatures down in the 40s. Oh, yeah. uh, some pockets of heavy rain in the afternoon and evening tomorrow. And uh, some of these showers and storms from about 9 o'clock through uh, 2 a.m. tomorrow morning, or tomorrow night, rather, uh, could bring some gusty winds, possibly up to 30, 35 miles per hour. Rainfall totals through Wednesday night, possibly up to near two inches. About two, about two inches of rain. I don't know. Hey friends, good Tuesday morning to you. Chief Meteorologist Trent Okerson with a look at your forecast. And a mild day ahead. Temperatures this morning in the 50s and will stay in the 50s and even a few lower 60s into this afternoon. There is a chance for a few spotty showers, mainly in Illinois and Missouri through the course of today. Kentucky, Tennessee, really looks like it's late tonight when our rain chances <coughs> roll in. Rain. See, 3 o'clock here, a few light showers across the region. A little better chance for some showers the deeper into tonight that you get. And by tomorrow morning, we'll certainly have a much better chance of widespread rain across the local six area. Maybe a, a few degrees cooler tomorrow as well. We'll start out in the mid 40s and end up running uh, with temperatures warming up tomorrow afternoon and evening into the mid 50s. Widespread rain through most of the day tomorrow. That rain could be so heavy at times with in, a y'all. couple of bursts of heavy rain tomorrow evening. A few rumbles of thunder possible as well. And uh, especially late tomorrow night into very early Thursday morning, we could have a few rather gusty thunderstorms that come through with our cold front. After this uh, final batch of uh, storms moves on through by Thursday morning, which should be primarily dry, cloudy, temperatures will still be in the mid-50s and perhaps a little bit of late day clearing on Thursday. Uh, late tomorrow night, as the front and uh, low pressure moves across our region winds are going to get pretty gusty after midnight uh, into early thursday morning wind gusts of 30 to 35 miles per hour possible so it'll be a, a pretty uh, windy stretch of weather there again late tomorrow night and by the time this system moves out it looks like it will have uh, rain rainfall totals possibly in the neighborhood of about an inch and a half to over two inches of rain across our region over the next uh, two, three days. So planning forecast today, Actually, the water 58, the a chance for some uh, mainly afternoon showers. There's a small chance here this it. morning of some low rain bit. in parts of Illinois and Missouri. Heavy rain at times on your Wednesday and 56, 54 Thursday. Gusty winds that morning and then uh, dying down for the afternoon and evening hours. Colder behind the system on Friday, we're at 45 with a slight chance of a shower. The weekend, things will quiet down and cool down for us. Mainly sunny skies on uh, Saturday and Sunday. 44 is your Saturday high temperature, a little on the chilly side. 53 on Sunday and 57 on Monday of next week with some sunshine back. Does look like maybe by next Tuesday, which is Valentine's Day, rain may be back in the forecast. So something to keep an eye on as we move forward in time. Appreciate you checking in with us. All right, folks. Rest of your Tuesday. The Farm Restaurant in Center, Wacky Kentucky. Wacky Weatherman, is February 7th, 23. So we'll go ahead and upload this. Right. Oh, get a, uh... Beautiful sunrise out there this morning. This was from the top Massac County. You see some fog here in the foreground and the uh, beautiful sun coming up on the horizon line. And it was a warm Monday today. Temperatures close to a record for the date. Record was 71 today, back from 1938. Mm. 64 in Paducah, 66 was the high in Union City, 64 today in Sykeston, 63 in Murray, and 62 
in Hoptown. All right, going forward, the Monday notables are the following. Good soaking rains for everybody at some point Wednesday. Could be some localized flooding as well. A brief cool shot Friday and Saturday, but it's really not going to be all that bad. We'll still be probably not that far below the average for those two days. Okay. And the groundhog this year, if you missed it a few days ago, called for six more weeks of winter. I'll be frank with you, that could not be more wrong and opposite for around here in this part of the country. It looks very warm, very active the next several weeks. And in fact, I think there's more chances of thunderstorms than snow through the end of February this year, the way I see it going forward. So this is going to be right, High temperatures today, 66 in Memphis, 70 in Oklahoma City and KC, 74 in Dallas. So there is some more warmth to our west. We'll get a little piece of that here over the next few days before we go back down heading into Friday. So tonight, clouds increase from the west. So this Temperatures are camp out somewhere in the lower half of the 50s, which is actually close to a record for how warm it's going to stay tonight. Heck, the average low is 27 for this time of year. Tomorrow morning, a pretty cloudy start out to work in school. Now, there might be a few sprinkles in far southern Illinois, West Kentucky during the morning, but the best chance of raindrops during the daytime tomorrow will be southern Illinois and southeast Missouri, north of Route 13, and then northwest of Cape Girardeau. So this little band of rain here, 12.30 tomorrow. By 4.30, maybe a few sprinkles or light showers. Some Preston, rain. Livingston County, northern it's Marshall, really rain, Ballard County. Sure. See one here near but Fulton, that, Hickman uh, County. But it's very expected. light, and it's kind of spotty. It's not until probably after midnight now. tomorrow going into Wednesday morning. It's 3 in the morning. We get some more rain that pushes in. This will be a steady rain going into Wednesday morning, so you'll need the umbrella going out for Wednesday. Temperatures will start in the 40s Wednesday. We're on the other side of a warm front that's going to come in from the south, and there's going to be multiple waves of rain Wednesday, especially in the evening. Here we are at 5 o'clock. There could be some uh, general thunderstorms from Murray down in the northwest Tennessee. By 6.30, we get a little bit of a break in the central part of the region. Then a cold front's going to come through probably between about 9 p.m. Wednesday and 2 in the morning so Thursday. Good, and it's that could have another round you see here kind days. of a, <clears throat> like this of showers and some storms. There is going to be a risk of severe storms Wednesday, a low risk, I think. But as of now, I think it will stay just south of us Wednesday evening. It would take a huge shift west in the low-pressure system for us to be at play for severe weather Wednesday night. So as of now, I'm not concerned about it, and it's mainly rain and just general thunderstorms Wednesday. All the rain should be done by about 5 a.m. Thursday. Here's 6 a.m. Thursday. We start cloudy, and the clouds will be slow to clear on Thursday. In terms of rain, this is a good soaker for everybody. Purple areas, an inch and a half to two and a half inches of rain. So most spots, one to three inches of rain. But notice this uh, area of red. That's where our computer model really hones in on some training thunderstorms from Murray down in the Weekly County. This might shift a little bit northwest or southeast, but certainly one to three inches of rain for everybody with a chance there could be a few spots that get over three inches of rain on Wednesday. Thursday, we start with clouds. We end with sun. Gusty winds Thursday, 57. Friday, maybe some rain or snow showers and feeling cold with the wind, but don't really expect any accumulation of those snow showers. 43 on Saturday with clearing, then we'll start to warm back up and get... Lots of sunshine in here, Sunday into next Monday. Looking ahead. Now open in Paducah. Frazine oh. Wellness, a <clears throat> medical spa and wellness <clears throat> center. Dr. Ryan Frazine and physician All right, y'all, like you with me. Frank well, I'll turn this on. I'll see y'all outside, and let's just see what it looks like out there. So give me a few minutes. Let me upload this, and we'll go out there. And February 7th, 2023, y'all be groovy. And there's your... Wacky weather wake up update. Okay. All right, y'all.